Good day, good day, good day, traders. Uh, this is uh, Nim Jalose. I just want to take you through um, the GBP trades today. So today, it was a lovely day to trade uh, GBP pairs, uh, mainly because there was good volume behind the markets and also um, there was good trend as well. So, I mean, if, if, if you look at the charts today, you'll realize that a lot of... Um, GBP pairs moved very, very well today, mainly because there was real volume behind the, the trades and also um, it, it was nicely trending. Okay, so I'll start with the four hour chart. So if you go and look at the four hour chart, um, you can clearly see that um, the market went down for uh, about eight hours. This is the first four hour candle. And then this is the second four hour candle. Unfortunately, uh, my trade, I managed only to hold it for the first four hour candle. And um, I didn't hold, hold it for the next um, four hour candle. So I missed uh, all that uh, move on the second four hour candle. But as part of my trading strategy, I don't really uh, hold it a trade for a very, very long time. If I reach my target and... Um, I think I've made enough for the day. I'll I will just uh, exit the trade and look for for the next trade setup or I look for a a reversal. So let me take you through the trade quickly. But uh, before I even go and um show you uh, the trade on a smaller time frame, let's actually look at the four hour chart first of all because that's where I usually um. Uh, start looking for trades before I even look uh, go to the smaller time frame and um, you can clearly see I always preach volume 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 you can clearly see right here the current that four hour of volume was actually rising as compared to the previous um, four hour volume you can clearly see how small that is and how big that four hour volume is so that moment as well if I will go to the shorter time frame now you'll see exactly what happened it's much easier to see but that this is the volume that we always that I always talk about that if you see the markets going up and the volume is supporting the trade that's a very good trade or if the market is going down and there's also a volume rising and um th that actually gives you a high probability trade so those are the most important things uh, to master when you are trading any markets also another important thing that you need to master when you are trading is the trend um i know i hardly talk about the trend but if there is anything that you need to master or anything that you need to understand uh, more than anything else is actually the trend there's a lot of ways to to see where the trend is going uh, and the best way is to actually use um a moving average uh, it doesn't really matter whether it's a simple exponential um it, it just doesn't matter as long as you put in the right moving average you'll actually see with high probability where the markets are going i know a lot of people will say you know what um i trade a blank clean chart i use price action i do not use indicators they are lagging blah 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 uh, you know what if you don't know how to use indicators you'll actually say those things because you don't understand how they work if you actually learn how to use indicators like a professional you will be able to use it to your advantage and make profit so drilling down to my favorite time frame which is the 15 minute chart so my entries are usually on 5 and 15 minute chart yes my entries are usually on 5 and, and 15 minute chart if i come back now and look at um now what happened on those particular um uh, levels those four hour levels that we just looked at it on the four hour chart let me move this on the side look at this uh, volume right here this is where everything started right if you see my entry was just after that big uh, candle and that's where my entry was and i only managed to held for about uh, 34 pips on that particular trade but uh, it's very clear to see this is where i entered and this is where i exited the trade yes as i said i missed uh, that um, the continuation all the way down there but i was okay because already when um when i was trading i had uh, reached my target which is uh, actually good for me now here's the, the the zone that i'm talking about so you can use any sweet spot uh, that you like but 
the volumes that I use are the normal volumes for um, MetaTrader, yes, because I use a very good broker and um, uh, you know what, the, uh, I, I don't want to be talking much about brokers because um, I, this video is not really about the, uh, the brokers, this video is mainly to show you my reasoning uh, behind the trade. So if I look at, at the trend, okay, we can clearly see the trend was actually going down and um, we had a nice downtrend and uh, if I focus on also on the a tick volume indicator um, that I use, this is a private software and um, it actually gives me a, which side of the market is dominating. So that, that's one of the uh, softwares that I use which gives me um, an edge over the markets because this actually goes in and calculates um, and checks whether the buyers or the sellers are in control and then based on that I'm able to make an informed decision whether I want to buy or sell so we can clearly see on this particular candle here you can clearly see right uh, the buyers were dominating I mean the green means it's a, a buyer, sorry, the sellers were dominating, the red it means sellers. So on this particular candle, I had sellers 100% in control because you can clearly see the, 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 the tick volume indicator is full red. There's not even a little bit of green saying that there are a little bit of a buyer still in the market. At this particular level here, I can safely say there were no buyers absolutely zero buyers because that's where i want to get into a trade when there's absolutely zero buyers or sellers because if if i don't do that i'll be getting into a trade that doesn't have high probability so if 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 i go back even um on um on the 8th of may if i just look show you the very same example as well you can clearly see here as well again uh, it's absolutely it's it's actually a few sellers you can clearly see that uh a uh, 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 red um uh, under that uh, particular candle there it shows me here at this particular zone that there's a uh, fewer sellers i think here it was the ratio was around um and 95 to 5 there were 95 percent buyers to 5 percent sellers if i'm not mistaken on that particular candle and when i get such a signal i know with high probability that what the markets are going to do yes with high probability okay because if i look at the volume down here it's pretty good enough i'm happy with that volume when it's there and also i look at the tick volume indicator and it's giving me and it's showing me that there's high probability uh, in fact the buyers are dominating the market that is that is the first and the most important thing you need to see the buyers clearly dominating the market and then also that has to be supported by the volume before you take any trade okay later on um, on the day i actually managed to jump in on a second trade uh, which i entered on the opening of that candle uh, right there you can clearly see on that line but my entry was based on this big bullish candle okay as i've explained as well the very same scenario that happened uh, here came into the picture here because you can clearly see again the red this is a tick volume indicator that tells me uh, whether it's buyers and sellers dominating okay you can clearly see a little bit of red uh, down the edge telling me that you know what they are sellers but the buyers are actually dominating around also i think that was on 95 96 percent ratio as well 96 uh, buyers to, to to only four sellers which is um, a very high probability trade and then i took this trade right here and uh, it didn't move that much i mean it only moved uh, about uh, 30, pip, uh, 30 pips to that high but i got out with uh, about 20 pips uh, because i realized that the uh, the volume was actually dropping the tick volume was dropping at some stage here when i actually took my trade i, I don't usually um, stick around when the volume starts dropping because uh, when volume starts dropping the interest is dropping so i don't want to be holding a trade when the volume is dropping i want to be holding a trade when the volume is rising and 
on this particular uh, particular tick volume indicator uh, at this stage here in fact where i exited which is round about here you can clearly see the tick volume had dropped drastically it was actually trend trading below my sweet spot right up uh, there of which that was a, a sign for me to be uh looking for an exit but the main and the core uh, uh, um, <clears throat> principles of my strategy is look at the trend and look at the tick volume together with the trend so if the tick volume is strong right and the market is going up then you actually need to be on a buy side when the tick volume uh, is strong and the market is actually going to the downside and um, you need to be to be to be going short um also have to say that a lot of people uh, draw a lot of different lines on the charts you know what it's okay to trade that way we are different traders we see things different way but um the best way that i've actually uh, realized uh, in eight years of my training by the way i've been trading for for eight full years this is this is my ninth year actually this past past april was actually my ninth year in trading yes in trading a full-time trading by the way okay even though the first three four years was not really um that pretty because the first four years i lost a lot of money but four years down, uh, eight, nine, nearly nine years down the line, I'm still trading and I'm having success almost on a daily basis. As long as there's market liquid, liquidity and there's tick volume supporting your trade, you actually going to be in um, in trade with high probability. All right, so this is uh, my trade for today, and I, I know I can look look at a lot of different examples like this one again. This was a beautiful buy. You can clearly see the tick volume is crazy. At the close of that buy, you could have jumped in for 56 pips, and uh, you could. Uh, didn't, uh, it doesn't mean that it, uh, if it moves 56 pips, you actually got a right at 56 pips, you know. Uh, it means that there was a high probability trade, yes. The, 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 the system does lose um, from time to time, not that it wins all the time, but to be quite honest, this one was a no trade because this one didn't touch my, my sweet spot, but yeah. Other than that, uh, ladies and gents, please subscribe. I'll be producing more videos um, on GBP dollar and uh, actually Bitcoin. Thank you.